Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creative related. Today I'm back at 1.0 and we are doing the AI navigation modification device and showing you how it works and how to use it properly. So let's get right into it. So you can find this device right in here in your creative tab devices and you it should be the first one or you can search it up right here AI navigation modification device you can place now you can place it and then once you place it down just like that you'll have it here so basically I'm gonna explain what this does first so the, the what this does it basically this device works alongside with the guard spawner so or any ai so let's say right here this guard this garden is is an ai this guard is an ai so this basically either there's two options on here i'll go through it in a second but you can either block the ai from going in this space or you can or the AI will avoid this space. You can either block or avoid. So that's what this does. It works alongside with the guard spawner to help you make some maps. You can also, uh, with your guards, you can also do the the, the AI patrol path. But that's, uh, that's another video. Anyways, let's go right into the settings of these. Let's move our AI over here. So right here we have, first you have the depth, width, and height of the zone so you can change it to whatever you want you can get actually very precise with this so you can get really precise with this like i have 1.25 which is very precise you can do the barrier width and the height so like this is up width and depth of the zone there's not many settings here but i'm gonna show you how you can make it work in your game so navigate navigavic words <laughs> navigation amount of modification type it's a tongue twister let me tell you but uh you can set this to block or you can set this to avoid block will block the ai's from going into the zone kind of like a barrier would and the other one avoid they'll just avoid this zone like they just avoid it so they're very similar things but they do different things they do different options so block or void you can choose what you would want block is helpful if you just don't want them going there at all or avoid is like they can walk around it so right now i'm gonna show you how block works next one down here is your zone shape so you can either make this a box or you make it a cylinder which i find really cool so you can make it like a circle just like that and they'll like avoid the cylinder right now i'm just gonna keep it to box so there's one more setting here enable on game start you're obviously gonna want this enabled unless you don't want it enabled but there's no option either if you click disable on this this will be disabled for like the whole game. I don't know why they even included this setting, um, but they did. So enable, you can have it enable on game start and disable. It'll probably be off for the whole game. I only, the only reason I say that is because there's no channels. You can't bind any of these, any of this to a channel. So how are you supposed to turn it on? I don't know. But we're going to take this device and we're going to move it to the back. And I'm going to show you what this can do. So say I take this and I make like... Let's see, let's make like a box. So let me put one there, let me put one there, one there, and one here. And let's take our AI and put the AIs in the middle of the zone. And I'm just gonna fix this real quick. Uh, patrol distance, there you go, visibility range, boom. Okay, so now, once our, our AIs will spawn in this zone, in this area, and they will not be able to leave, because these all four of these zones around it are blocking it from getting out so basically they're all gonna spawn in here and they're not gonna be able to get out because they'll be blocked by this barrier so once i start the game you'll see all of the uh the guards being in there and can't leave so let me show you that right now. boom they'll spawn if i get close he's shooting at me but see how they're all staying in the area even if i go over to this area but they they would usually follow you right they would usually follow you all the way over here. But no, they're stuck in this area right here. They're stuck right in their uh, area. They cannot move. So you can like make a game mode where they're shooting you, but they can't leave a zone. And you can like build everywhere. Just like this. Oh no, I can't leave a zone. What will I ever do, right? And then you can make it so they can uh, dodge the guards or something. Anyways, there's a lot of game modes you can make with this, and I really hope this helps. One more thing I want to show you real quick. Uh, so, that could be a one game mode. I want to show you one thing you could quickly set up if you would like. So, you can do that, obviously, or you can do 
complete that. You can make a thing. You can make like a, let's see. You can make a shooting range. If you go like this, make this little pattern right here. Or really, if you make a lot of these, these, uh, these things. Boom, boom. So, see, this is two, sh uh, two shooting ranges, right? So, you could put a guard. You could put some guards in here, just like this. Or you could put one guard in here, let's say. You could put one guard in here. And boom, now you have like, um, kind of like a shooting range thing. So, you can shoot your guards. So, let me show you this. So if we spawn in here, um, I put it right over here, so they should spawn in. See, I don't have a gun, but if you want, you could build, you could do, like, some aim training. Because right now, they're both stuck in that one box. Right now, they're both stuck in those boxes, so they cannot move. So you can just do some aim training. So it basically, what this zone does, it basically just keeps them in one area, contains them, um... Or they can avoid a zone if you want them to go around a certain location. Or if you don't want them to run into something while you're um, in your map. Like if your map is really complicated and you have like props everywhere. You can say, oh, I don't want the AI to go here when they're playing the game. Like I don't want the AI to go in this zone because there's a bunch of props that they could get caught on. So you can um, make them avoid the zone. Basically, I hope this video did help. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it. If you were to hit that subscribe button, I do these videos a lot of the time. I do a lot of tutorials like this. So let me know you like it. Let me know in the comments if you found another way for this device to be used. But this is practically what I found out is useful. Also, if you like to use code PEEPER1235 to support me in the Fortnite item shop, feel free. It really does support me way more than you think. But that's it for the video. Thank you all for watching. My sister out.